Hello, I'm Chef Olivier Hilton from St. Lucia. I'm the chef de cuisine at Key West Restaurant in Nikki Beach Resort and Spa. Okay. Can you mention about the restaurant itself? And so at Key West, we do a trinity of cuisines. We do Caribbean, Latin, Floridian cuisine, and we bring them all together in what we have created a special menu here at Key West. So you could get lots of Caribbean flavors, authentic Latin dishes, you know, this Floridian feel. So if you come down to Key West, you definitely have something for everybody. And what's the main specialty out here? So um, at Key West, you know, we have our 50 joss per grill. So you could come and find some lovely steaks, our tenderloins, our ribeye, clam steak. You know, we also do some seafood. You know, I have this Caribbean favorite that I brought in from St. Lucia, taste of St. Lucia, which I call fish and fall, which is a poached sea bass in a coconut turmeric broth. I also have my authentic jerk chicken recipe that I created just for this outlet and you could find my recipe being used in the other outlets of Nikki Beach right now. So some original flavors coming in, you know, some favorites we have. We also have our signature beef sperry, which is also a favorite, which comes in our barbecue pack and food sauce. So maybe you want to check that out as well. And what about in the fish? Uh, what dishes do you have that, that's most liked by the people out here? So our poached sea bass in our coconut turmeric broth, broth, which comes with our smoked Cajun gram provisions and also our Jasper grilled Suskai peppers is one of our um, fan favorites, I would say. We also have our Paishe, which is a fresh water fillet that comes with corn tea potatoes and our fresh green pepper sauce. This represents our Latin part of the menu. So another good dish which is enjoyed by many of our patrons that come to give us. What about in the line of the dessert? So dessert, um, you want something sweet, you know we have our churros which comes with our dolce de leche or our chocolate sauce and we also have our key lime message in a bottle which is one of our favorites actually. This is a very special dessert to put together to represent the taste of Key West. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to wrap up with? Our sea bass we use for our fishing pole. What are the ingredients that you put here? So um, I just fancied the sea bass in organic coconut oil and I added some Julian capsicum and some fennel in there. We seasoned with some light turmeric, salt and pepper. And then sugar cane shrimp as well our very popular dish our sugar cane shrimp which comes with a papaya mustard sauce this is part of our latin influence on the menu take something something unique something different like you've never had in dubai you come down to key west you try our cuisine you get a taste of caribbean latin floridian and you look at have a good time at Key West. Enjoy a beautiful sunset, sand in your toes. No shoes, no worries. And uh, what do you plan to introduce next in the near future? Very soon. So, in the, I mean, in the near future, to add to the menu, of course, we're going to try to incorporate some more local flavors, do some fusions. Since we're in the Middle East, of course, you know, work with the Middle Eastern cuisine, the Caribbean cuisine, Latin cuisine, and fuse it and bring something totally new but also try to keep the dishes as authentic as possible. So definitely look out for something coming new. You know, Caribbean cuisine also is something that's evolving. So there's always something new that you can put on the menu to keep it fresh and, you know, not bored at all. And throughout your career as a chef, have you come across celebrities where you have served or 
cook for celebrities? Maybe not here. Yeah, so I mean, if I were to name some, I would think the most famous celebrity that I have cooked for would be probably Babyface. You know, I did breakfast for Babyface, which was quite a good experience. I also met a other few um, artists like Luf Lufa Banjos, you know, also catered for him as well. Um, some big cricketers, you know, part of the world, you know, and the, the West Indies cricket team. Um, yeah, just to name a few. Thank you very much.